How's it going, guys? I am back with another reaction video for you. So today we are going to be talking about Germany. So if you want to hear about that, stick around. Um, today's video will be German houses versus American houses, part one. And this guy is really cool. I've actually seen a couple of his videos. I don't know why I'm not subscribed to him, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, this is by XP Life Now. So, get this started. If you're an American and you're thinking about moving to Germany, I'm going to share with you 10 differences between German houses and American houses. What's up, everybody? I'm Steve Miguel, and you're watching XP Life Now. On this channel, I share with you new things that I learned and experience as it pertains to travel and different cultures. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I could already tell is uh, these are a lot different than what we have. Different one. What's a the difference? These are awesome poster or yeah, posters, pictures, new pictures. These look like Little birds. That's awesome. There's a lot of differences between German houses and American houses, but this video won't be all inclusive. I'm just going to share with you 10 things that I feel are an important thing to know if you're considering moving to Germany. So the first major difference is actually not in the house at all. German houses are typically close together in a community. Since I've been here, I've never seen oh. a house that was just off by itself. Compared to the U.S., it's very common for houses to be separated by a kilometer mm -hmm. or so, especially in rural areas like in the south. The second major. So does wonder how big of yard they have then? Like, do they have a yard with fences or I mean, do y'all Germans like it really close together? I don't know. I mean, I personally, I like my space, but that's just me. Major difference is German houses tend to be built up. I've never seen a house that was only one floor. Uh, typically, hmm. it's at least two floors. The house that I live in is actually three floors versus in the U.S. It's very common to find houses that are only one floor. The third major difference hmm. is the carport. For German houses, it's a common thing to have the carport separated from the house. Sometimes you'll have one like mine where it's just a cover. Um, other times you'll actually have one that you can close. Now this is different from the US where the garage is usually a major piece of the house and it's actually attached to the house. Um, it also serves as another point of entry into the house. And yes. Yes, and uh, that it's not. It's kind of fifty-fifty on that. I mean, I have a garage. It's not attached. Um, it'd be really awesome if it was attached because I do not like cold weather at all. Maybe so much easier in the winter time, unless you guys don't get much snow. I got a lot to learn about this. Typically, they're made to fit one or two cars. So the fourth major difference between German houses and American houses the are door the knobs. doors. The only way to lock the doors in German houses are with the key. Another thing to note is that if you don't have your key when you go outside, you could potentially be locked out of the house. Oh no. As you can see, most doors don't have any kind of doorknob. So when you close it, it's, it's shut. And oh lord. Oh lord. This is not good. Not good for me at all. <laughs> In order to open it. Well, so what happens... The difference between German so, do you have special people that go around and unlock doors? I'm... Hmm. I wonder about that. I would not like to lose my keys and like have to... No, no, no. German houses and American houses is the heating. In my house and in most German houses, you have radiators to heat the house up. And what's cool about these things is they're all throughout the house in every single room. And you only 
reheat the rooms that you are in. For example, I spend most of my time downstairs, so I almost never turn on the ones on the second and third floor, including the bedroom because I like my bedroom cold. The sixth major difference between- That's a really good idea. That would save a lot of, a lot of my heat bill actually. Between German houses and American houses are the refrigerators. In most German homes, your fridge won't actually look like a fridge, but will look like a ordinary cabinet. I love it. It does not have a freezer, um, which is something that I think is pretty standard. Wow. Um, I've been in quite a few German homes and I have yet to see a freezer. Typically, wow. all refrigerators within American houses will also be a freezer. The seventh major difference between German houses. Well, they probably have better food than us too, honestly. Like we have so many preservatives and like junk in our, on our meat and stuff that it doesn't last as long. And so we have to freeze it or it'll go bad in two days. And American houses is that German houses don't have closets. So most of the time you have to buy something like a wardrobe in order to okay. store your clothes in American. That's really weird. I don't like that either. Um, hmm. That's really odd. I don't even know what I was going to say to that. Cause that just struck me as really odd. I know that in Indiana, um, if you don't have a closet in your room, it is not considered technically a room, like a utility closet or something. Houses, every single bedroom will have a closet for you to put your clothes in. So the eighth major difference between German houses and American houses are the windows. The first thing I want to point out about the windows are Ooh. the Rolladens. Rolladens are these metal or plastic wow. that you can let either up or down. Uh, depending on what you want to do. The second That's... thing I want to point out about the windows is that there are two different ways that you can open them. If you don't want to open the window all the way up so that you don't have to deal with bugs and potentially birds flying in, all you have to do is turn the knob all the way up and the window comes down to about this point. Even with it like this, I can already start to feel the cool air start to come into the room. But if you want to completely air out the room, the window actually comes all the way open. And all you have to do is turn the knob to the side and now the window opens all the way. I'm not sure why, uh, usually, I mean, we have windows that open, but they have screens in them if they open them. So like insects and stuff can't get in. That's interesting. To lock it, just turn it down. Now there's no standard window for American homes, but one of the things that really comes in handy that you find in the US but won't find in Germany are screens. Typically in America, windows will come with screens in order to keep the bugs out if you want to open it up. The ninth major difference between German houses and American houses are the ceilings. Looking at German houses from the outside, they tend to have very steep chimneys. They tend to have very steep chimneys. Um, and <laughs> you actually... That's really funny because I didn't even catch that. So like... See that when you go into the house. So you definitely want to take this into consideration when you think about uh, the different types of furniture that you want to buy or move over here. The last... Huh. Never mind. The major difference between German houses and American houses are the bathrooms, um, specifically the toilet and the tubs. Uh, the thing that I want to, a couple things I want to point out about the toilet, if you'll notice, it does not have a um, back tank to it that is visible or um, accessible. Also, uh, it doesn't go into the floor. I like and that. Typically what you'll find in American houses is you, the toilet will be uh, mounted onto the floor 
um, and it'll have a water tank in the back. Another thing I want to point out about the toilet is that German toilets don't have a lot of water in the bowl. Um, the the hole is typically far in the, like way in the back, and you have like all this flat space uh, in the toilet. So you have to do a really good job aiming, or you're gonna have to use the brush to to clean it. <laughs> um, also, with German toilets. Um, they do a really good job flushing compared to American toilets. Uh, the toilets in America, when you flush them, unless you're in a... It a wastes a lot of water. Bathroom, when you flush them, they tend to do... Um, they do this swirl. Mm -hmm. The water comes in and it does this swirling motion um, to drain out. But with German toilets, when you flush it... <laughs> It just does that. And mm. I've never had a problem with anything uh, not going down in German toilets. As I said, the tubs are different as well. They tend to have these shower nozzles attached to them. But as you can see, there is no shower curtain or anything to stop the water from getting onto the floor. That is because the shower is actually over here. Question of the day. What are some things that you liked about German houses that you would like to incorporate into your own? I hope you I probably would choose I'm trying to remember everything he said. There's a lot of information in that. Um well definitely the toilets like how it's not to the ground because like if if you admit it just get, it gets really gross but probably one thing that i would really enjoy that we could just mop under it real good and be done with it but all right guys there you have it 10 differences between german houses and american houses um and actually i think i have a couple more of these um German versus American videos. So stick around if you want to watch more. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked what you seen, please let, hit the like button and the subscribe button. Really, really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Bye.